Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the plot of the novel The Joys of Motherhood by Buchi and Mechita. We are going to analyze the plot as well. Please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you get notified when the video on the characters and the roles that the character play is uploaded. So I'm going to give you a brief background of the novel. The novel is considered a classic feminine literature and published in 1979. And as I said earlier, it is written by a Nigerian author called Buti Emechita. Set in Lagos, Nigeria, over the decades, the tragic story follows a character called Unuego a young African woman struggling to overcome her temporary inability to be a children and embrace a motherly role in a patriarchal society. So, unable to conceive a child in her first marriage, Unwego is banished to Lagos, where she eventually gives birth to several children and redefines her role in the community. As Unwego grapples with the traditional values and customs of becoming a mother, a wife, and a woman as defined by her patriarchal community, she must do everything in her power to protect her children and maintain her dignity. So, the novel opens as Unwego runs away from her home in Lagos, Nigeria, where her first baby has just died. She has decided to commit suicide for losing her baby because she was selling cigarettes, a petty trait, along the road. And when she returned home to check on the baby, the baby is already lying dead. So she decided to end her own lives. But she was stopped by passerby and by some concerned characters in the novel who got to know of her intention. So the plot of the novel now flashes back to the story of how Unwego was conceived and gave birth to. Her father, Agbadi, though he has many wives, is in love with a proud and haughty young woman named Ona. Ona refuses to marry Agbadi because she is obligated by tradition to produce a son for her father's family line, to continue the bloodline of her father's family, and not to produce a son for a husband. But when Agbadi is almost killed in a hunting accident, Ona nurses him back to head and becomes pregnant with his child. So, Ona agrees that if the child that is in her womb is a daughter, it belongs to Abadi. But if it is a son, it belongs to the father of Ona. And um, both parties agree. Okay? So, Unwego is Abadi's. So, when the child is giving birth to, the child turns out to be a daughter. And it is named Unwego. So Unwego is Agbadi's favorite daughter. And she grows into a beautiful young woman. Her first marriage is to the son of another wealthy family in Ibuza community. Unfortunately, the marriage soon grow so and there were there were a lot of disagreement because. Unwego failed to give birth to children. Her husband takes a second wife, and the second wife quickly conceive and give birth to children. So Unwego grows thin and unhappy, and almost worn out because she was unable to give birth to children for her husband. So because of the disagreement of not being able to give birth to children, Unwego goes back to live with her father. And then her father arranges a second marriage for her. Unwego's second marriage is to a man called Unaife, 
a man who works in Lagos as the washer for a white family. The white family is called Dr. and Mrs. Mia. Though Unwego is disappointed with Unaife, he isn't her ideal man. She quickly becomes pregnant. She was worried that the man is not the type of man he want, she wanted, but now she has to accept her fate because the type of man she wanted, she was not able to give birth to a child for the man. Now he's got married to Unaife and luckily for her, she conceived and become pregnant for Unaife. So, and it was this child that dies at the beginning of the novel before we were taken by flashback to know what really causes the death of the child that the mother left the child in the room and went outside to the roadside to go and sell her cigarette and then when she returned the child is already dead and the mother wanted to commit suicide because of the death of the child wanted to jump from the bridge to the river in lagos but was stopped by passerby and concerned characters in the novel so when um, Unwego is stuck out of jumping off, off the bridge, Unwego returns home and becomes pregnant again rather quickly. So World War II interferes in Unwego's and Unaife's ha uh, happiness. The white family, Miss Amiya, is returned to Europe and Unaife is out of work for months. Why Unwego support the family? Through petty trade. Unaife eventually get work on a ship, which means he's gone for months at a time without returning home. So Unwego struggles to make ends meet while he is gone, while the husband is not around. So when the, fam the husband Unaife finally returns, it is only to be greeted by the news that his elder brother has died in the village of Ubuza and Unaife has to inherit all his brother's wife and children and take care of them so most of the wife remain in Ibuza. they refuse to come to lagos to come and live with unaife that is the wife of his brother but one of them decide to come to lagos and her name is adaku so adaku comes to lagos and live with uneigo and unaife so uneigo learns to become the senior wife and to share Unaife's pitiful salary with Adaku and her children. So life is a constant struggle for survivor since Adaku comes, but it is only get worse when Unaife is conscripted into the army and sent to fight in the World War II. So Unaife is gone for four years and his wife have to wait patiently for him. But we are there able to wait till the end until he returns. I think both of them, Adaku and Unego, we are able to wait. Just like Unego, Adaku also take a step of trading. And this time around, Adaku began to trade and the trade is yielding a lot of benefits. So, both Adaku and Unego are also traders now, petty traders. And now Unego was trading to support her four children, and Adaku was trading to support her two daughters. So, Unego goes home to Ibuza because her father dies. And during her long absence, Adaku's trading become very successful. Why Unego's trading began to dwindle to nothing so Unwego, Unwego has to start all over again when she returned from the village after the burial of her father but she is jealous of Adaku's success so the women the women have a conflict and the family men set to in favor of Unwego even though Unego was very wrong, it was Unego that was wrong, it was Unego that started the fight, but the family have to settle in her favor because she is the senior wife and also she has male children. And Adaku has only two daughters. So because of that, 
Adaku was very angry and left the home for Unwego and began to do prostitution to join her well, trade. So the plot also proceed and we see that after many years, Unwego discovered that she has sent three that after many years, Unego I realized that she has been sent three years of Unaife's salary. And she was so happy with that and she paid the school fees of her children and fed them well. They were able to feed well. So Unaife arrived home not long after that. The war is over. Unaife apparently feel the sting of Adaku's defection and going into prostitution, leaving his house because he decided to go home. And then Unaife decided to go home and inherit the remaining wives of her brother in the village. So he went to the village and then he impregnated the first wife of her brother, which is called Adankwo. Adankwo is different from Adaku. Adaku is the last wife of the brother which Unaife inherited, and Adankwo is the first wife. So Adankwo, he Unaife impregnated Adankwo in the village. And then he married another wife. The wife is just 16 years, and the name of the wife is called Okbo, and brought that one to Lagos. So Unwego is frustrated because of the coming of the new wife. And they can hardly afford the children they have. Yet Unaife keep fathering more children and demanding more wife. So yet I Okbo is a good girl and has the same traditional values that Unego has. So their relationship is a good one. Almost like that of a mother and a daughter. So Unaife surprises everybody when he offers the rest of his military money to pay for Oshia's expensive schooling. Oshia is the second child of Unego, but now is the first surviving child because the first child died in infancy so so after giving the money to Oshia to pay the expensive school fees the plan of the father was that uh, Oshia will graduate from school get a good job and began to take care of the other siblings and even her parents in their old age but does Oshia do that I don't think so Oshia has other ideas and plans, however. So, Oshia want to continue with her university in America. His disregard for his own duty, because the father does not want him to go to university in America. He wants him to stay in Nigeria and take care of uh, the family, but Oshia does not uh, listen to the father's advice. So, Oshia's disregard for his own duty as the firstborn, causes his parent great anguish. Unaife is never the same again after he betrayed by Oshia. So when his daughter Kenny they break his rule by running away with a Yoruba man, he assault the father of uh, Kenny Day's husband because he was very frustrated. How the children are almost disappointing him. So after the assault he was sent to prison. Unaife blames Unego for all his problems. And whatever love he once had for her has turned to bitter hatred. But Unego also was saying she was not responsible for the challenges and problems of her Unaife. So, with Oshia in America and Adim, Unaife's and Unego's third child and second living son, working and paying for his own schooling, and her two oldest daughters settled in marriages, Unwego moves back to Ibuza community. She is not welcome on Unaife's family compound. So she moved into her father's old household, old household with her youngest children. She lives out the rest of her life there. And when she dies, when she dies, okay, when she dies, um she the, 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 the children came and performed expensive rituals and expensive burial ceremony 
And at that time, Oshia came from America and the brother Adam came from Canada. And they throw an expensive funera. They build the shrine so that her, the descendant of uh, Unwego can pray to her and ask for children. But do you know what? Unwego did not grant the prayers of the descendant. He never answered their prayers <laughs> in, the, in the novel until the end of the novel. So, he dies. He even died along the roadside. It was a pitiable death. And a woman who find, find it difficult to fit a heavy ceremony, a heavy burial ceremony was done on her behalf. So you could see uh, Buchi Emeshita also was trying to let us know that in some certain cases, children will abandon their parents while they were alive. And when they die, they come and do expensive a flamboyant funeral to uh, to make it look as if they care for the mother while the mother was alive but all the expensive funeral and the money spent and the food cook and the clothes bought all of them were worn by the living not the dead mother so i want you to look at this question carefully in what way do poverty and traditional values oppress women in this novel if you listen carefully and read the summary on the screen, you should be able to respond to this question. You can respond to the question and uh, you can post your answer on the comment section. I will look at it, grade it, and put you through. So have a good day. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Invite your friend as well to subscribe. And thank you. Have a good day.